Two of the school buildings are now beyond repair. Nearly 150 Year 1 and 2 kids called them home. Seeing the damage caused by the fire has devastated the school community. It was gut-wrenching. I came in from my house and I could see in Ipswich's huge column of smoke rising up and just you know, the sickening feeling in your stomach knowing that that's my school, that's our school. The buildings were due for a state government renovation, but now the school's going to be up for more money. There's been great community support. Locals brought out toasted sandwiches and cold drinks for emergency service crews. Now, as it looks like the fire's been deliberately lit, the principal's calling for anyone with information to come forward. The fact the three buildings all started burning at the same time strongly suggests arson. We've conducted a number of interviews with a number of persons of interest and we're hopeful that these interviews will, uh, will lead to an offender. There are now fears about asbestos in the 127-year-old building. These three structures are severely damaged. They're starting to come down on their own now. So we're just treating the rest of the, um, the job as a bit of a chemical risk with the asbestos in the walls of the school. So sadly today the boys are dressing in uh, splash suits in this heat and um, containing the rest of the asbestos. Local politicians are calling for compulsory sprinklers in classrooms. Maybe the sprinklers could, um, you know, assist in, um, you know, stopping some of this willful damage. You know, if they come up with some smart systems, it's it's one of those things that you have to start finding different ways of doing things. Students affected by the fire will be moved to temporary demountable rooms. Gemma Somervale, QUT News.